AMS 2140 Synchronous Analysis In this tutorial, I will show you how to perform synchronous analysis on up to four channels using the AMS 2140. As we review these options, you'll note a visual reference to the CSI 2140. Please be aware that this product has been rebranded as AMS. What is synchronous analysis? Typically, vibration data is measured using a process called averages. During data collection, a vibration signal is captured for a specific time period called a snapshot. The snapshot is used to calculate a spectrum. The process is repeated multiple times, and then an average of the spectra is created and stored. The starting point of the waveform in the snapshot is more or less random. In synchronous analysis, the starting point of the snapshot is always the moment that the tack pulse is detected. So we start from the same shaft position each time, and instead of averaging the spectra, we average the waveform. Because the waveform is always starting with the tack pulse and the position of the shaft is always the same, the data will be very consistent. We call this synchronous data. But data collected from other shafts or where there are bearing problems will also be inconsistent. But if we average all the data, the synchronous data will be very dominant and the non-synchronous data will be averaged out. Let's take a look at another example. In this gearbox drawing, we have five shafts, one input shaft with 22 teeth connected to a second shaft with 34 teeth. These shafts are connected to two more shafts, so we have one input shaft and two output shafts. The spectrum collected on the input shaft indicates quite a lot of energy, but also a lot of noise. This indicates a problem but it is difficult to see a root cause in all this energy. If we perform synchronous analysis and the tack is installed in the input shaft, all other data is eliminated from the spectrum. We still see the gear mesh frequency, the harmonics, and just a few sidebands. From the same measurement point, but with the tack now installed on an output shaft, we see the gear mesh and a lot of sidebands. This indicates that the energy is coming from the sidebands. And it turns out that was because there was severe wear on the output gears. Let's see how to accomplish this using the AMS 2140. First thing we will do is collect regular data using the normal averaging process to create a spectrum which contains both synchronous and non synchronous information. In our example, we'll be measuring at 50 Hz on an electric motor, and we'll see significant peak at two times the line frequency. 2 times line frequency is actually 100 Hz, which is non-synchronous data and is the normal average present in the stored data. But when we apply synchronous analysis, the 100 Hz will disappear. Let's take a look. From the home screen, select F7 Advanced Analyze. Select F1 Manual Analyze. Here you will see I will analyze from 0 to 2000 Hz. 1600 lines, and 6 averages on 4 channels. Next, I start the motor and collect data. With the 6 averages completed, I highlight channel A and select F11 Expand X Axis. I move my cursor to the first peak. Using Alt 2 and F2 cursor type, I select Moving Harmonics. And now I can see that this peak is not a harmonic of running speed. I move the cursor to the second peak which is our 100 Hz and more than 2 mm per second. Let's collect the same data with synchronous analysis. Again, from the home screen, I'll select F7 Advanced Analyze, but this time I will select F7 More Experts and F9 Synchronous Analysis. Typically, you would start data collection immediately, but let's review the settings for four channels first. Select F1 Manual Analyze. I see the settings for 0 to 2000 Hz, 1600 lines, and synchronous time. Averages is set to 0, so the analyzer will collect data until I stop the process. Four sensors are active, so we are good to start the motor. While the data is collected, I will use F11 
to zoom in on channel A again. Now you see the 50 Hz is stable, but the 100 Hz peak is disappearing from the spectrum. Previously, it was around 2 mm, now it is close to zero. If you see that the data is stable, you can stop data collection using F9. What is left on the screen is the imbalance value, and the non-synchronous data has been eliminated from the spectrum. The data can now be stored in the Jobs mode by selecting F9 Store Data. This concludes our tutorial. Please continue watching to select from other recommended tutorials or visit the AMS Reliability Channel for the AMS 2140 playlist. Additional product information can be found at emerson.com/ams2140. Thank you for watching.